In this video, Affinity Publisher Basics wrap text around shapes and images. It's a beginner's guide to text wrapping. Now wrapping text around shapes and images, we're going to do this by example, and it's fairly basic, but it's a fairly straightforward process once you understand what's happening. And there are very few controls. So you should have this up and running in just a few moments. So let's start by creating a new document. And I'm using a simple A4 page. You can use one of the presets. So when you start up and, and publisher and open a new document, just select A4. It gives us plenty of room to put two columns of text and an image or two. Click on Create. Straightforward. Now, select page 1. You double click on page 1 to select it. Then drag out a place marker with the frame text tool. And you can tell you've got the frame text tool working by the fact that it'll have a ruler across the top. And you can see page 1 is selected there. It's got the grey border around it. You double tap on it to select it. Now with the T of text still selected, because you're in frame text mode, and the ruler still showing, go to the columns tool, you'll see it up the top there, and select two columns. We want two columns in this document so that you can perhaps put your image in the centre of a page. You don't really need to do this, you can put an image in a single page if you like. And you'll see how easy it is. You now have two columns of text. We fill the columns with dummy text, the lorem ipsor fake text. It's fake Latin. It's not really Latin, so don't try and translate it. Go to text, insert filler text, and the document will fill with random text, just like you've got there. Now we're ready to place our images. Presumably you'll have found an image already, an image or two, and because it's an odd shape to put into a text document, I've selected a pocket watch. And we'll start with this. Simply drag it onto the document for, from wherever you've been keeping it. Now you can place a picture frame holder, if you like, an image holder, or you can just drag your image straight onto the document. And you'll see it in the layers panel there. It's right at the top. The easiest way to set up your document for text wrapping is to position your text frames behind the image. That way it's easy to get at your image. And that's the one you want to apply your text wrap effect to. This means you can easily select the shape because it needs to be selected. Now this is the quick and easy method. With the image selected and in the foreground, go to Text, Text Wrap, Show Text Wrap Settings and select Tight. That's the one, two, three, fourth icon from the left at the top there. The text below will appear to wrap tightly around the watch. It certainly does on the right hand side. Now the left hand side will appear to be slightly different. That's because your text is formatted into column left. If you um, had your text formatted so that it was equally spaced across the column, it would appear slightly differently. Now you can experiment with that. And you can adjust the tightness, in other words, how close the text is to the watch from those options that this arrow points to. Now we'll see it's slightly different. Text adjusted away from the image. The text has been adjusted to five millimeters away from the image on all sides. The text in the left column could be aligned right, perhaps, or it could be center aligned. But however, none of it will be closer, and you can see this quite clearly in the right-hand column, none of it will be closer to the object than five millimeters. And of course, you can make that any size you like. Slightly more complex images, I selected the Eclipse Frame tool and dragged to create a perfect circular frame before placing a second image in this new frame. And you can see the circle just there, the place marker. 
Create an image frame before going to File, Place and Open to place an image in the frame. Now you can see I've got a circular image sitting in that frame. You could use nearly any shape. Select the image frame or shape and go to Text, Text Wrap and open the Text Wrap panel. Across the top of the panel there are six icons, each of which indicates a different way of applying the text wrap. The default, of course, is the left hand one. Now we want to tap on the fourth icon along from the left to apply a wrap around the frame shape. You can adjust the offset values to increase or decrease the distance between the text and the edge of your frame shape, as we did on the last one. You can repeat this for any image you like. Now you can see there I've set the 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 uh, distance from the object to one millimeter. So it's not quite sitting right on it, but it is one millimeter. The left hand uh, side of that image, you can see the text is slightly ragged around that. There is a way of fixing that. And an exercise, perhaps, will be to see if you can find out how you fix it. Now, moving around text is the same. This is not an image, but a text frame. And it's got the letter Y in it, in rather large type. You can see it there. I believe it's 141 pixels in size. I can't quite read that on this little screen. But never mind. There's the letter Y in green text, and it's in a text frame sitting over your background text. You can place letters anywhere in the body of the document, either as text or as images. Now, I've set the text wrapping around that. The underlying text behaves as normal. Long words dropping to the next line if they don't fit. You can see again, it's ragged left and aligned right. But that's a that's a text letter Y there. How do we get the text to uh, move in? Adjust the wrapping boundaries for complex shapes by adjusting it. In this case, the edit wrapping boundaries is greyed out because it's still selected. You can see the little blue lines around the letter Y there with dots and handles to position those blue bars. You can see the adjustment handles in blue. That's why that option is greyed out there because I'm actually applying it. But before you try to apply it, it won't be greyed out. You click on it and those little blue bars, the handles, will come up. And you can adjust the text so that it comes right in against the letter Y if you like. That's just an example. It's fun to experiment with this, but for simple shapes, that's all you do. Now remember to save your work. That's it for this exercise. Thank you for watching. Please remember to subscribe to my channel and like it on YouTube. Likes are nearly as important as subscribing in the, in the lifestyle of my channel.